day starts here at Spectrum. Coming up in this episode. It's roofing time, so we made our way to Spectrum Systems Limited right along Spanish Town Road in Kingston, Jamaica. Of course, we had the list at ready, prepared by our roofer. Or was he really a roofer? Anyways, we'll get right into that later on, but this is the sales office of Spectrum Systems Limited. We had to go to both the sales office and eventually the warehouse where the roofing materials were stored. Hubby was the only one who made it to this purchase, so let's follow him as he goes in with the sales rep who will show him the variety of roofing options available. But of course, we were already restricted as far as what we could choose. So while we looked around, we knew what we had to get. We knew the colors, we knew the materials, and there she is showing him the options. If you had the option, would you also choose clay tiles? Tell us below in the comments. Right, so this is it. It's a piece one break off. Which one? So this is a ceramic off. Yeah man, that's the darker one. Right, in this same. same so this is it in, this, in the same color. Oh, that's the style. That's the style. Our decision to build in a planned community meant that we had to abide by the homeowner's manual. And this homeowner's manual gave us the approved roofing solutions for every single resident in our community. It limited us to four options. It includes either a red Spanish clay tile, a red or light brown Spanish clay tile, or a variegated red Spanish clay tile, as well as concrete slab roof. And that only applied to a particular section of the house. So just in case you're planning on buying land in a planned community, a gated community, a community with HOA responsibilities or regulations or guidelines, whatever they may call it in your area, note that these may be some of the restrictions you have to deal with. The guidelines are so stringent, actual samples of the clay tiles are pictured in the homeowner's manual. The clay tiles were almost mirror images of each other, except they varied in color as well as in some cases, as you can see here, the hump in some of them uh, is a little bit higher. But if you're not a clay tile fanatic, you can always choose one of many other options that are available at Spectrum or they're also available at Matalon Roofing. Pictured here are the other options that we saw when we visited Spectrum Systems Limited that day. see it oh he was thinking about me even though he was looking at clay tiles such a sweetheart but we were on the hunt for clay tiles and these were the options available to us there goes our Vera Caribbean Spanish red staring at us just waiting for hubby to pick it pay for it and move right along with this roofing process each clay tile cost 600 Jamaican dollars and initially, we were told that we needed only 100 clay tiles. Can you believe that? Well, we believe that and we went ahead and we purchased only 100 clay tiles. And we were happy that we had only spent $60,000 to do our entire roof. About 10% of our expected budget for clay tiles. Shocker. But it was early days, so we were still uh, blinded by something I don't know what. And so we purchased the 100 clay tiles and they were packed into the vehicle and we made our way home on a long, heavy, slow trip because one thing about clay tiles, you can't just drive and drop in a potholes like that. They were broke. They're quite delicate. They are ceramic clay tiles. So, you know, you have to be gentle. So it was a slow trip back home uh, the car was fully loaded, heavily weighed down, but you know, we made the trip and save on some money instead of paying a delivery truck to, to take them home. You know a man and his car, so hubby had to get a piece of Solitex to put in the car before putting the clay tiles down on top of that piece of Solitex. And to prevent scratching of the beautiful interior, 
there was styrofoam placed to the sides and I think some was placed in between the tiles as well so that they didn't rub up against each other and therefore um, break as they rubbed against each other. We chose to buy our tiles at Spectrum because that was the only store that had clay tiles available at the time. Clay tiles are clearly not as popular in Jamaica as aluminum or decor tiles are, but we had to use clay tiles for our house. Eventually, we found out why our roofer told us to get only 100 clay tiles, and I suppose we overlooked that mistake because, again, people make mistakes, right? The end result was that the 100 tiles could only do a portion a small portion of the entire roof so that meant another trip or two maybe four back to spectrum yeah i saw it that for now hubby was right for now later is a whole other story but let's talk lumber because in order to do roofing like we did you definitely need lumber we thought the craters were expensive but check the cost of these pieces of board some trees they owe them expensive bud we bought six pieces of one by three by 16 untreated seven pieces of one by eight by 16 five pounds of concrete nail 10 pieces of one by six by 12 12 pieces of two by six by 16 treated don't forget those hurricane traps we bought 35 of them an additional 25 pieces of two by six by 16 treated prime eight pieces of two by eight by 16 treated 20 pieces of two by two by 16 treated we also needed six ply board that's the t111 ply board the one with the grooves 40 pieces of two by two by 12 40 pounds of head nail that's four inch 40 pounds of three inch head nail 15 pounds of two and a half inch head nail and we decided that we wanted to seal the roof so guess what we did we had to buy 21 sheets of sheetrock or drywall and to put those properly in place we needed 500 3 by 8 inch coarse drywall screws of course we needed drywall tape as well and plaster we bought two buckets of the plaster i can't recall exactly how much tape we bought but we definitely bought tape we bought one 10 by 18 ridge cap we also purchased 35 form ply 5 by 18 regular 20 pounds two and a half inch head nail four one by 12 by 16 i see i see there i don't know what that means two gt one by six by 16 two brass ball valve one axle blade and an additional 10 by 18 rich cap the list was long but you know what we made sure we got everything that we were told to get thankfully we had this storage container as you saw in a previous episode and this is another reason why we are happy that we had this 40 foot it helped us to store all the materials and considering the journey that we had to go on because of this roof storage was extremely necessary long-term storage he told us he could finish in 10 days to two weeks that quickly turned into almost two months two of the hardest months of my entire life and this was the reason why we eventually slowed down posting videos and eventually stopped posting videos. It was a long process of uncertainty. In fact, we couldn't continue to post amidst all that was happening. This video captured day one of the roofing process and we weren't entirely certain what was going on. This was the first time either Hobby or I experienced this whole roofing situation. So we were ignorant to the entire process, but we were excited to see what would happen. Because we knew so little about roofing, we started to do some research. And as we researched, we came back to the roofer. We had different questions. We had different concerns. We wondered about what we ought to get and what we ought not to have gotten. And he reassured us patiently in the first half of this process that all was well. And so, you know, we believed that all was well and would be well.
In all of this, the hardware failed to deliver some of the items that we ordered. So of course we had to be making trips between hardware and the property and that of course eventually added up cost-wise. <music> So all of this that you're seeing now was what was accomplished on day one of the roofing work. But after this day, communication broke down, seriously. But eventually, this happened. By this time, 10 days had long gone. It took so much to get the house to this stage. It took a lot of back and forth, a lot of delays, a lot of calls, a lot of so much effort went into getting the house to this stage but at the end of the process we were so relieved despite the fact that there were some missteps along the way after everything that happened we were just relieved to get it to this stage i'm not lying when i saw this or the videos of this i was so happy i was elated not only was the sky beautiful uh, but the work to me or the workmanship looked so lovely. I thought everything was just fine and dandy. We didn't know that some errors were made during the process. Errors that would eventually cost us financially and otherwise. You may realize by now that this is a little bit of a step back from what we showed you last week as far as the block work and the rough casting work, but he had already started the, the, the roof work when the mason was doing the rough casting. And because this particular section that you're seeing was not yet blocked up, that is why these vertical boards are there holding up the roofing area. The mason too, had by this time become a little bit more let me say distant from the whole building process and from the relationship that we had developed so we had to make do the way we well the way the roofer knew how and that included using the boards until eventually the mason got back in the mood to start doing some work and was again okay with the schedule of our financial institution and of course our pockets. Remember I mentioned before that you can't build a house with only the financial institution's money? Nope. You better make sure you have some money in your pocket too because when the financial institution is on a hold, your pocket cannot be on a hold or the work will be on a hold and it will be on a hold indefinitely until the financial institution gives out that next portion of money so payment and to purchase material as well as to do uh, the rest of the work up to a particular stage by now you must realize we're referring only to one person as the roofer that is because the roofer the person who put on the clay tiles was also the one doing the carpentry work as well We would recommend the opposite if you intend to do a roof of this kind. Do not allow the person who is putting on your clay tiles or your aluminum tiles or whatever it is that you are doing to be the one who is also the carpenter unless you have evidence that he or she is actually a carpenter and a roofer. We had some evidence that our roofer was well qualified to do the roofing work. In fact, he came in highly recommended. But something went so very wrong along the way. We really don't know what happened, but maybe our project was just not it for him. Maybe this was just not the project for our roofer. We have nobody to blame but ourselves here, and so we take the blame for this and our pockets took the blame as well. But we learned invaluable lessons and we hope you too are learning lessons. If you're going to hire somebody to do your work, ensure that you visit the site of a previous job done by this builder. Make sure that you're not only relying on pictures that he or she shows you, or worst case on the word of mouth of the, the, the workman, or somebody who works with him or even a friend of this workman ensure that you have direct evidence of this roofer or other workman of this person's qualifications of this person's past work and ensure that the past work 
is at a standard at which you are comfortable so that when this person does work for you, you are comfortable with the work that he's done. The roofer had to be paid at intervals. For one, he had to be paid separately for the carpentry work as opposed to the work done using the clay tiles. Closer to the end of this video, I will let you know the full amount of money that we paid out for work done for carpentry on the roofing as well as, of course, laying out the clay tiles. He had gotten to about three quarter way or more of completing this entire section of the roof before work came to a pause but in order for him to do that we had to purchase an additional 800 or 830 tiles uh, in order to get him to as far as he went with the roofing project that's a total of 930 ceramic clay tiles and the result was this This is the end result of this roofing project. At least at that time it was. Tell us, is this how it is done in your neck of the woods? After two months and about three or so weeks, this was the end result. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this was not how we thought the roof would look. Look closely very very closely because at this time when we were recording this video on the outside nature was helping us to make a huge discovery the rain was coming down just so gently and as the rain fell so did water from the roof on the construction family we didn't need another clue we didn't need another hint we didn't need another bit of sun peeking through those clay tiles, another drop of rain coming through freely. We didn't need anything else other than this that we saw this day and all the other things that were just adding up day by day, week by week and month by month. We finally took the hint and made the decision, the only decision that we could have made at the time. Hobby met with the roofer and they had a conversation, they had a discussion and they came to an agreement that we would no longer be pursuing uh, the construction of the house using his services. With that door closed, we retained the services of another roofer, the one who had done all the other houses in this community, one whose work we saw with our own eyes this time around, and he directed us back to the warehouse, which is where Hobby is coming from right now, with ply, additional clay tiles, and of course, the waterproof membrane in order that rain can never come back through those clay tiles again, nor sunshine, at least not directly. So in total, we spent 558,000 Jamaican dollars on clay tiles, 260,000 Jamaican dollars on labor cost, including the carpentry work, and yes, the clay tiles that were laid by roofer number one, and 465,000 Jamaican dollars on lumber, sheetrock, delivery of all the woodwork and everything that revolved around roofing and ceiling of the house. Well, we hope embarrassment and amuse you, but instead educate you. And this takes us to the end of this video. We will see you next week with more tea, more details, and more of our experience as we continue to build our dream house right here in Jamaica. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you again next Sunday. Bye.